Reporting live from the West Coast. If you want the smoke, you bet not joke. It's your man, Game Boy 310. Stay tuned, TV. You hear me? Check me out. Gang, gang. What's happening with y'all, man? What's going on? How you feel? How you feel? We're checking out Silver Spoon today. I'm going to take a crack at it and say, uh, Bape Say? Bape Say? Bape Say? Looking at this word, I think of Bapesters. Bathing Apes. Lyric video, man. It wasn't a music video. So I think it's important that I uh, actually hear all the instrumentation and be able to read the lyrics. This was the one I said I was going to check out next. Uh, I can't believe I actually stuck with it. I changed my mind every few days. I swear to God, I do. Silver Spoon, man. This was uh, another one I kept hearing about ever since I started with BTS, to be honest with you. Uh, I've seen this name pop up so many times. So let's check it out, man. Quit playing. Today is the day. God damn it. You hear me? So you know where you at. Stay tuned, TV. Shaman Game Boy 310. You hear it? BTS, Silver Spoon, Bape Say. Lyric video. Let's go. Press the you button. Hear me? Hey. They call me that same. You watch it. It's that game. Molly. Take same. Watch the dog and let your daddy take They call you that same. That same. You watch it. Hey. It's that game. I like this. I like the tone. Bape say. So it is Bape say. <laughs> Bape say. Yeah, that's swagged out. I was, they swagging this one out, okay. I mean, I know I ain't even got nowhere yet, but this one sounds swagged hey, out. Bape say? Okay, motherfuckers. Yes. Oh, I remember this. I remember on one of them songs, I think it was Sugar, uh, he said something about a try hard. Okay, circle back. Now I get it. No doubt. Okay, so, oh, this is a uh, empowerment song. Got you, cause you know, you know what, man, and I'm and I'm guilty of it. I'll be honest with you, man. Like a lot of times, I do catch myself saying shit like, "Man, this generation is, oh, this just they ain't got no chance." And it, you gotta kind of stop yourself and like, man, you can't hold, you can't make one person responsible for a whole generation, man, or even a group of people. You know what I'm saying? Like most of the generation nowadays, yes, yeah, some of some of them are a little off, but that don't mean all of them are. You know what I'm saying? That don't mean we're just done. You know, they could turn around and make change for the better. You can't down talk them, though. You hear me? And I, and I got to catch myself a lot of times. I do that sometimes, too, man. But this obviously is the kind of song that's making that statement. Like, to try that bravados you gonna always win with bravados to me man what one more again one more again that shit is catching that's a ringtone bro I know y'all got some. I know some of y'all got this as a ringtone, man. That's just a catchy ass little jink that that bell, man. Or uh, these guys, man, <laughs> they make all kind of beats, bro. This that trap. This take me back. This like that Roscoe Dash. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Like, Mm. 
like real talk, man. Like we do not anybody who's above uh, this generation. We do not have it all figured out, man. Quit talking like that. Like, you just know what the fuck. Like, a lot of us are still trying to figure our way out, man. And, like, there's a thin line of that of separation between that generation and this one. Like, we don't all got to figure it out, man. Teachers, whoever. Like, if, you have a, if you're in the professional field, corporate, you're still trying to figure your way out. You may have a career, but, like, that don't mean you just got life figured out. Because it's not just all about money and career. Like, it's not, bro. Like, we, it's a daily journey, a daily battle. And we all, so, so stop acting like you're better than, you know what I mean? Like. That's what I'm getting from this. Hey. Fuck you, bro. Oh my, you know how to get me. No man said daddy. You can't have my daddy, my daddy, my daddy, my daddy. Ooh. Mm hmm. That statement reminds me of the whole pull yourself up by the bootstraps type. Come on. What do you say? My legs are shorter. How you. I've got a crow tits leg. What? A crow tits leg, and you have stork legs. They all say their legs are worth a million bucks. Mines are shorter. How you expect me to keep up? Good point. I like that. Not to mention the cadence. Oh my god. Let me try to understand that part a little more. Hold on, my RM come in. I mean, I get it, but hold on. <laughs> How do you pressure somebody? How do you pressure kids to like put in more effort, put in more effort? You got to try harder. And then in the same breath, be like, see, man, you just not going to make it. Like, well, which way is it, man? You want me to try harder so I can make it? Or are you already having negative kind of you already having neg negative thoughts about me pursuing whatever it is that I'm pursuing, man? Give them a motherfucking chance, bro. Give them a chance, man. Some of them hard headed, but some of them bro, just give them a little patience. They're going to catch on. They're going to get it. They're not dummies. I think, I think it's counterproductive. That's all. Break it down. I was looking to see who that was. June Cook. June Cook. Forgive me, bro. I'm, you know, I'm going on y'all names, but. Hey. That's crazy how I'm looking at the lyrics, but I'm too busy listening to how he said it. I didn't even read it, but hold on, let me read it. Ooh, I like that little what I'm trying not to rewind the same part, y'all, but I just caught on to that little flute in the background, man. So man, the instrumentation, man, always just oh. Have you ever noticed when you're listening to a song and there's like a two second pause in the beat, it enhances the lyrics, man. And it just 
Oh man, it's it's a, it's a technique, man, but that shit works every time, bro. That was was that a voice? This was hard. Okay. Now this this is hard. This is hard. This is hard. This is hard. Flavor like a motherfucker, man. And yo, <laughs> that's a catchy ass beat, man. That's a ringtone beat. This was tough, man. Uh very dope message, man. That shit catchy. Hold on, man. Hold on. I, I think it's safe to say that I'm a babe say. I am, bro. I be true. Man, I get out here and I, boy, I put it to the grip. You hear me? I think I can relate to this song, man. That bass, that boom, 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 boom. Dope. This is relatable, man, because yeah, we, we you know, I'm, I'm a, I guess I'm part of that upper generation from the one that we're currently in. But man, we had the same pressure, did we not, man? More so back then, there was a pressure of like, oh, uh, going to college and like making sure you get a degree or get degrees. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go to school and just become this doctor, lawyer, engineer. Type. It was really a lot of pressure, man. And you remember how that shit felt back then? Like it's like. Look, okay, I understand. You know, I got a future ahead of me, and I gotta get serious about. But don't pressurize, like, don't put that fucking weight on my back at such a young age, man. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, guide me and coach me, but don't. And then you down talking me as you coach, like, <laughs> there's a lot of pressure, man. And then you get out here, and it's it's still not even what they, you know, prepare you for. It's more. And then when you actually get into it, you really feel the pressure of being an adult. Like, it's no it's no joke, man. But <clears throat> I like how they always speak up for the youth, man. And even going back to on, on fire, like when they had the gate and they said youth on. They always have they're, they're always a voice for the youth. And I think that's very important, man, because the youth, it, it's a lot of pressure. Even 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 when it comes to like different artists who are out nowadays and the songs that are out, a lot of them are influential and you can easily be kind of. I don't know, uh, just sucked in to the wrong type of influence, man. So it's good that you have groups like BTS. I don't know, you know, Kendrick, J. Cole. Uh, what's my man's name? Uh, one to three Grammys, man. Um, Chance the Rapper. You know, just kind of encur encouraging you to do better and making it look cool, though. You know what I mean? And for sure, BTS is a part of that. I mean, look at the style, look at the swagger and the talent, but they still can be positive, man. That's a, that's a dope impact to have on the youth nowadays because we have so much of the latter. And and to have a voice though the lyrics actually speak to i wonder if this song really does connect with the youth i mean in hindsight i could look back on my life and like relate to these lyrics but i want to do the current youth can they relate to this song man this is a powerful one and then they slick because they always give you like some trap ass bounce beat and make you dance so inevitably it's going to make you pay attention to the lyrics it starts with the beat then it's the melody and then you dissect the lyrics and then by then you already kind of Hooked. I like this, man. Nah, you know what, man? I, like I said, let's let's uh let's check out the motherfucking uh where's that man? Dance practice. Let's check it out real quick, man. See you talking about. See you talking about. Uh, okay. I gotta make sure I'm a good one. I want to support the actual channel. 
if they have one on there, but okay. The mirrored one. Let's go with the mirrored dance practice. Is that the right one, y'all? Oh no, no. See, that's Bang Tang Bomb. I'm looking for Silver Spoon. Okay, I think this is the one. Let's go with this. They move like water, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I told y'all. <laughs> I told y'all. Pelvic thrust. Gyration. It's much needed. You see that, man? Y'all. <laughs> Hey, I am tall as hell, huh? <laughs> Look at him back there in the back, man. Hey, that's one of my favorite dances. Hold up. This right here. Uh. Notice even when they freestyle dancing, like it's still in the sequence, man. Like when they like kind of all off on their own, it still go together, man. Precision. How the fuck is RM dancing in Timberlands, bruh? Are them Tims? There's no way you can lift your foot in them construction worker Tims like that, bruh. Hey. hey. Was that the butterfly effect? Oh no. That right there. That shit stank, too. That shit musty as hell. Look at that. <laughs> Bro, they have dance moves for the ad libs. Oh, I'm so, I'm so, man. The running man did it. That's, yo, man. Uh. The running man.
the motherfucking legendary running man, bro. If that ain't the Sunday service, pastor is, man, yo, that's the pastor on Sunday morning, brother. Come on, if you know, you know. Uh. Hey. Hey. No. Nope. And they some fools, bruh. What the fuck? Hey, they some fools, man. <laughs> what the fuck? Who told him to throw it back like that, man? Is that in the actual dance? Is that in the rehearsal, bro? Do they do? <laughs> God damn, bro. All right. All right, man. <laughs> hey, man. That's what the fuck I'm talking. That's that's what I meant by like. That personality, man, like that's a that's a that's a that's a brotherhood, man. That's a solidarity, man. Like you could just it, and it, it helps with the performance, with the songs, the videos, when you could play off each other, man, and y'all just kinda you know each other's personality and like you can have fun like that, bro. Like that's hard, man. This is why you fall in love when you can see your artist, your favorite artist having fun with this shit, bro. Like, I don't know. It just it brings a different type of energy, dog. You know what I mean? This is hard, man. I like the dance practice, man. It shows their uh, personality. That's hard. That's <laughs> Why you throw it back like that, man? That's fucking crazy. But I think, see, for me, though, I think you need a pinch of that. You need a pinch of personality, man, and like in all groups. And every artist, like the, the Ludacris's, the Busta Rhymes, you know what I mean? Like the Tyler, the Creators. Like, I ain't saying you got to be a goofball, but it, it just helps to show, like, just some personality, man. Like, you ain't always got to be serious or thugged out. You know what I mean? Like... Very dope, man. Very dope. I enjoyed this shit. This baby say this one was hard, man. Hey, th yeah, okay. So thank y'all for uh, suggesting this one. Well, actually, I'm late. They been telling me to check out Babe Say, but this is hard. Like it. Well worth the wait, man. I enjoyed it. Yeah, this is uh, this is one of them ones, man. Catchy, but meaningful. You know what I mean? Like I can see that's that's their formula, man. Just to you know make you dance, make you bounce. Uh, when 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 they're going for that sound, but still the message is gonna be like on some, some you could take with you, man. Some profound. I can appreciate that. This is one of the uh, I could say like one of the favorites. Like dang and uh, you know what I mean. Like outro tip. There's been a few of them I heard that are group efforts that I think are very dope, man. Black Swan. Another, uh, yeah, this, yeah, this part of the favorite list, man. I like, I like this one. I like this one. Very tough, very hard, man. And the rehearsals, yo, it's, it's crazy how like throughout the whole song they never stop fucking moving. And you got to think when you in concert, man, you doing, uh, man, how many songs? Countless, and you have a routine to every song, and each song is like they never stop moving. Impressive, dog. Very dope. Hey, let's drop it right there, man. You know where you at. Stay tuned, TV. It's your man, Game Boy 310. You hear me? BTS. Silver Spoon. Silver Spoon, excuse me, babe. Say. Shit was very dope, man. Hey, shut the door and don't slam it. I'm going to see y'all in a second. Y'all.